Earlier this year, the CDC published an alarming report about the well-being of teenagers in America. Among the findings, a majority of high school girls said they frequently feel sad or hopeless. The CDC's chief medical officer declared herself heartbroken by the statistics, but vowed to take action and encourage schools to focus on the problem. One high school in Massachusetts is offering a model for that by teaching happiness. NBC's Kate Snow explains in our Sunday Spotlight. Take a few more slow, deep breaths. This is not a typical science elective for high school seniors, meditating, writing down what they feel grateful for. At the Noble and Greeno School near Boston, Jennifer Hamilton is teaching the science of happiness, modeled after a curriculum first developed by Yale professor Lori Santos. When you're happy, you're like, this happiness is going to last forever. Her college class on happiness was the most popular course ever taught at Yale. Now she's adapted it for teens. Do you think students in your school are happy? available through the site Coursera. We put a lot of thought into developing strategies that teens could use to regulate their thought patterns. Like what can they do in the moment to feel better? It all comes as the CDC in February released new sobering statistics. In 2021, more than 40% of high school students reported feeling so sad or hopeless they couldn't engage in regular activities for at least two weeks. And nearly 60% of teen girls felt persistently sad or hopeless, a dramatic increase over a 10-year period. It's like a nationwide thing, especially with kids in their college processes getting stressed out about decisions. A lot of kids in our generation were just putting on this, I guess, mask to sh like tell everyone, like, yeah, I'm okay, and you really aren't feeling that way. We have unrealistic kind of comparisons with each other. Start by focusing on your breath. Brian Grant is taking the happiness class now. Brooke Manning and Mark Garreau took it last semester. The course starts by redefining happiness. Hamilton says really too many popular. teens think, think reaching a goal, like getting into college, will make them happy. In order to get there, they're just putting their heads down and they're kind of grinding. They get to whatever that goal is, and then they look around and they're like, well, why am I not happy? In class, they learn strategies to be happy now, like building relationships, being fully immersed in an activity, savoring experiences. The course culminates with every student making a change. Mark reduced his time on social media from six hours a day to an hour and a half. I decided to do other things like meditation, social connection, getting more sleep, that was a big one. You found time for all that. I found time for all that once I put my phone down. Brooke set up a nightly video chat with the sister she missed. We FaceTimed every night for like 15, 20 minutes and just kind of talked about our days. That's something you wouldn't have done if you hadn't had the Definitely course. Definitely not. Brian says he's already gotten a lot out of the class. It just like makes me super conscious about what I'm grateful for and what makes me happy. Are you happier after taking this course? Yeah, so, yes. Definitely. Yeah. I think it like kind of really allowed us to focus on like what's real and what's actually important, which is happiness. For Sunday Today, Kate Snow, Dedham, Massachusetts. Sounds like a good idea. Kate, thank you very much. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.